In this video, we are going to go over the details of the murder case involving Cassidy Rainwater. This case has sparked multiple rumors, including local rumors of cannibalism. And here is what I found. Cassidy Ray Rainwater was born June 9th of 1988 to Tracy Denise Rainwater Wasasuk while attending high school at Harrisonville High School in Harrisonville, Missouri. She then met Benjamin Michael Harrison in 2005. Cassidy, who was a minor at the time, gave birth to Ben's child. Ben was an adult at that time, although it is unclear what happened between the two over the years. There is something that is clear, though. On September 14th of 2005, someone was granted a protection order for child abuse stalking from Ben, and a protection order was also granted for a young child on September 30th of 2005. Although Cassidy's child was adopted, the child was born in 2005, making it possible that the protection orders were for Cassidy and the child. It may be possible that Cassidy and Ben kept in touch with each other over the years, but it was also possible that Ben lied during interviews. Cassidy's mother, Tracy, was born October 21st of 1963, and on April 13th of 2007, she went missing. A year later, on May 6th of 2008, a farmer found a shoe in human remains when they were spreading out fertilizer. Among the remains found were teeth, which helped identify the remains that belonged to Tracy Denise Rainwater Wasasuk. And at the time of Tracy's disappearance, her boyfriend Leonard M. Couch lived on Tulsa Drive in Lebanon, Missouri, which had a creek behind it. According to Leonard, Tracy may have been looking for arrowheads down there. Tracy's body was found near where she went missing due to the lack of evidence and no trauma to the bones. There wasn't an investigation done on Tracy's disappearance. Any information that Leonard had regarding Tracy is something he took to his grave in February of 2021. It is believed that Cassidy never stopped looking for answers. Around 2009, Cassidy met Zachary Lee Paul and began a relationship. The relationship only lasted a few years, but in that time they have gotten married and had a child together. In July of 2014, there was an attempt at a divorce between the two, but it was dismissed. In early 2021, their child was placed into the custody of a family member. During the interview with Zach, he claims to have moved to Oregon for a few years and came back when he heard about Cassidy and was going to try to get custody of their child. Zach claims to be unaware that the child was not in Cassidy's custody following a DCF visit in July of 2021. However, Zach has an extensive criminal background, so it is doubtful that the Child Protective Services would place child in his custody. Zach is currently incarcerated, and it is possible that the divorce was never finalized in 2015 due to Zach moving to Oregon. Throughout the years, between 2008 and 2020, Cassidy has used the address 320 Moon Valley Road in Lebanon, Missouri as a recorded living and mailing address. This address belonged to Brady Rainwater, or Bill Rainwater, who was Tracy's father and Cassidy's grandfather. Bill had died years prior and the property was left in a trust. It was known to be Cassidy's residence on March 18th, 2021, due to being served there. There is a possibility that Cassidy wasn't even homeless at all, as many media outlets portrayed her as. Per a news article, Cassidy had two other confirmed children with a man named Stephen Lee Keeney, who was 22 years her senior. Stephen was charged with seven counts of second-degree statutory rape and one count of statutory sodomy on February 17th of 2022. The day of his arrest, there was a two-hour standoff where Stephen held something to his head and said, I am a felon with a firearm, which is a federal offense. It's been five years for every bullet I have in it. He also kept claiming to have done nothing wrong except kept referring to it as not touching her again. Stephen is currently serving 15 years. It is unknown at this time if Cassidy had any other children. So what happened? Months prior to July 24th of 2021, James David Phelps and Timothy Leroy Norton had began planning the murder of Cassidy Rainwater. There is evidence that they sent messages back and forth via text about this, and James believed that Cassidy had stolen items from them a while back. 
on or around July 24th of 2021. James and Timothy had taken Cassidy and placed her in a man-made, human-sized cage at 386 Moon Valley Road in Lebanon, Missouri. During this time, James would take several pictures of Cassidy partially nude while in the cage. On July 24th of 2021, James asked Timothy to come over to the property that night while Cassidy was asleep. When Timothy arrived, Cassidy was lying on the living room floor. Timothy then held down Cassidy's legs while James strangled Cassidy by placing a bag over her head to asphyxiate her. Once deceased, the two men tied Cassidy to a gantry crane, which is a device used to hold up heavy objects like car motors or deer. The two men took pictures of Cassidy while tied to this device and began to disembowel, dismember, and eviscerate her body, all while taking pictures of the whole process. When they were done, both men placed Cassidy's remains in a bathtub, and at some point after this, Cassidy's remains were placed in vacuum-sealed freezer bags with the date July 24th and her initials on it. On August 25th, Cassidy was reporting missing by a close family member, Cora Terry, who had last seen Cassidy with James Rainwater, who was later identified as James Phelps six weeks prior. That very same day, police went to the cabin on 386 Moon Valley Road, but were unable to find any signs of Cassidy living there. James told authorities that Cassidy had possibly moved to Colorado. On September 1st, police went to the cabin again to investigate further. This time, James admitted that Cassidy was living there and told authorities she was there to get back up on her feet. He also kept repeating that Cassidy was talking about moving to Colorado. James then told authorities that in late July, Cassidy met a vehicle at the end of the driveway in the middle of the night, and he hadn't heard from her since. The FBI then received an anonymous tip from Germany, a cyber tip with a file label Cassidy. In this file were pictures of Cassidy Rainwater partially nude in a cage, pictures of her bound to the gantry crane, and the pictures of her being dismembered and eviscerated. Once they identified the victim in the pictures of this information, it was then sent to the Dallas County Sheriff's Office in Missouri on September 16th of 2021. The same day, authorities went to James's home on Moon Valley Road, and then items in the pictures were identified outside the residence. Due to this, James was placed in custody and transported to the Dallas County Jail in Buffalo, Missouri, while they waited for a search warrant. Once the warrant was granted, over the next seven days, the evidence gathered was that of the crane, items in the freezer that appeared to be human flesh with the date 724, digital evidence from digital devices which included seven photos of Cassidy on James's phone, and then skeletal remains that were found on an adjacent property being at 320 Moon Valley Road. Timothy Norton was arrested and then taken into custody that same day as James and both were held under the pretext of kidnapping and abandonment of a corpse. On September 17th, James Phelps invoked his rights to an attorney and refused to answer any questions. Then on September 20th, FBI officials interviewed Timothy Norton who confessed to his involvement of the crime as that as well as to what James has done. While both James and Timothy were in custody, the house at 386 Moon Valley Road had burnt down on October 4th. Per the investigation of the bomb squad, the house was burned down with clear signs of arson from two explosive devices made from mortar tubes with balloon covers and trip wires. On November 17th of 2021, DNA confirmed that the package meet with the date July 24th and the Cassidy's initials on it did in fact belong to Cassidy Rainwater. Both men's charges were changed that day to first degree murder with abandonment of a corpse. And on February 8th, 2022, Timothy's abandonment of a corpse charge was dropped, and it was just charged with one first-degree murder charge. In the month of February, it was released that child porn of violent nature was found on Timothy's computer in his home, meaning he was in possession of what is called Hurt Core. During this time, there are motions granted for the protection order over the evidence, another protection order was granted for the pictures and videos of Cassidy Rainwater, unless deemed essential for the trial. On July 14th of 2022, James's abandonment of a corpse charge was dropped and he was just charged with first degree murder. April 28th, 2023, 
James Phelps entered an Alford plea, which is a guilty plea but claims their innocence until substantial evidence is found and can be taken to trial. James is sentenced to life in prison without the chance of parole. And finally, June 27, 2023, Timothy Norton entered a plea deal and was sentenced to life in prison without the chance of parole, and as of today, there is no information released that confirms who the skeletal remains belong to that were found at 320 Moon Valley Road in Lebanon, Missouri. Rumors of this case are abundant, and here are some of what is being said. Although Tracy and Cassidy's murder happened in the same city, there is no evidence that connects the two cases. During James' interrogation, he claimed to troll Walmart and online for victims, but no evidence has shown to back this up. James stated that Cassidy was there to get back on her feet, which is believed that he used that to lure her into his home. There's a possibility that Cassidy lived right next door the whole time, but others did not know she lived there. They could have created this story. They had months to plan. The area around Moon Valley Road had also had local rumors of cannibalism and a cult of cannibals for a long time. These rumors range from a mystic school being a cannibal cult and selling barbecue with human meat. There are also rumors that James Phelps was operating on the dark web as someone called The Butcher. No information has been found to back this up. There is also no current evidence that supports that pictures of Cassidy were ever uploaded onto the dark web or otherwise. And what the evidence given is more likely that one of the two men sent the FBI the files using a VPN. It is possible that James and Timothy wanted to play on the rumors of the town's cannibalism. It is also possible that they acted on cannibalism themselves, but there is no current evidence either way. There is also no current evidence that there were any other victims of James or Timothy. With them having months of planning prior to murdering Cassidy Rainwater, there is a possibility that they just did their research and Cassidy happened to be the first victim. If you or anyone you know has information that would help authorities regarding Cassidy, James, or Timothy, please call 816-474-TIPS. Timothy Norton was born to Betty Norton and Vernon Hansen in 1965. During high school, Timothy met James Phelps while attending Skyline High School in Urbana, Missouri. James was two grades ahead of him. In 83, Timothy graduated high school at Hermitage High School in Hermitage, Missouri, and then joined the Marines shortly after. And at some point, Timothy was relocated to Naval Air Tech Training Center in Millington, Tennessee to complete basic helicopter course. The local paper of his hometown wrote an article about Timothy and his accomplishments. Over the years, Timothy had been married a couple times, but they ended all in divorce. He also had a criminal record for writing fraudulent checks as well as traffic violations. In February of 92, Timothy's address was listed as 386 Moon Valley Road in Lebanon, Missouri. James David Phelps was born in 1963 and also had a criminal record of fraudulent checks, fines involving fishing and hunting, and a couple of breach of contract lawsuits. In April of 2011, James stated his address was 386 Moon Valley Road in Lebanon, Missouri. It is apparent that the two men stayed friends over the years and eventually James would rent out the home on Moon Valley Road. James and Timothy's families were members of the local church dating back to the 60s. James was even ordained through Universal Life Church in 2019. This could have been just another way of James to have an easy income at the time. Regardless, these two men had a dark plan that would scare and shock the nation. They are a danger to society, and if there happens to be any more victims, may they be held responsible for those crimes. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this, or on more extreme topics like gore, disturbing icebergs, and then go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell icon, that way you get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also get 20 plus hours of exclusive bonus content not allowed on YouTube via my description box. You can find all my links there to all my premium pages, which also gives you access to Discord, merch discounts, and so much more. Again, thank you so much for watching, and stay safe out there.